NVIDIA CLIMBING TODAY, RECOVERING FROM YESTERDAY'S BROADER CHIP SELL-OFF ON THE HEELS OF A DISAPPOINTING EARNINGS LEAK FROM ASML. THAT STOCK STILL SINKING TODAY. Uh, NVIDIA ALSO GETTING HIT WITH NEWS THAT THE DOJ IS CONSIDERING CAPPING AI CHIP EXPORTS TO SOME COUNTRIES. JOINING ME NOW TO DISCUSS ALL THIS IS BERNSTEIN RESEARCH'S STACY RASCON. STACY, IT'S GOOD TO HAVE YOU HERE. IT ALWAYS SOUNDS LIKE THERE'S A TON GOING ON AROUND NVIDIA. Always, and certainly always. Certainly there is, uh, not to mention we have, you know, Jensen is, is really you know, on the circuit out there kind of yeah. preaching uh, the future uh, at every turn as well. And yet the stocks, you know, it's up seven tenths of a percent this week. It's kind of hanging in there onto this gain. So separate out what matters and what might not for, for this one. Yeah, yeah, you bet. So yesterday took a hit along with the rest of the sector on, on two things. One was the... Um, the ASML uh, earnings leak, which was interesting in its own right, and um, some of the export control news. Um, I think any hit that it took on the ASML uh, report was probably not really justified because while ASML's report, as we all know now, was not great, the one sort of bright spot from it was AI demand. It seems like AI demand is still off the charts. It's about the only thing that is, but it's still very strong, and, and clearly like that, that benefits uh, NVIDIA. Um, I do wonder if, if some of the hit yesterday was more around some of the export control stuff. And, and what's going on there is there were some stories that suggest the U.S. is considering, I guess they suggested capping the licenses um, that NVIDIA and, and other AI chip vendors can use to sell parts to other countries, particularly, I guess, in this case, the, the Middle East. Um, I'd say, it, it, and though I'm not sure it's that big of a deal, I guess we'll see, but caps, in my opinion, are not bans. Um, they already have license. They're already under licensing arrangements with the Middle East. They have to get licenses to ship there anyways. And, and frankly, the other like outright bans that we've seen in the past haven't really slowed them down at all. And I, so I, I'm not terribly worried about, about that. They seem to be more um, incremental than anything else. Um, and, and we saw the stock yesterday was coming down before the ASML. They dropped sharply and then kind of recovered a, a little bit uh, afterwards. And so I think today it's kind of relaxing a little bit as it's clear that the ASML news is not a direct read across and, and maybe the, the export control step isn't as big of a deal as people might have been worried um, uh, at first. Yeah, and the market clearly, as you suggest, making its peace with whatever all this is. And I, I know there's a way also of saying, listen, this stock is where it traded four months ago. It had an absolutely massive run. It gets the $3.3 trillion market cap. And then maybe it needs to kind of hang out for a little while and figure out exactly how long we're going to be in this lucky position of demand outracing supply uh, into yeah. next year. So where do you think that sits in terms of investor expectations and, and how the stock is, is positioned? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. You sort of look at the last couple of months, it was in a lot, a lot of news flow. The stock took a big hit um, several months ago on, on the Blackwell delay rumors. And right. while it does right. seem that there were some issues there, it really looks like they've worked through without any problems, right? So it didn't really have any impact on, on the demand trajectory. Um, and I'd say since you know, the stock was, I went to 90 bucks or something like close to it. And so it, it certainly recovered off of off of that. I guess that was a great entry point in, in hindsight. And look, going forward, I mean, all of the checks on, on AI demand, like I said, they're, they're going to sell everything that they can make. And, and you mentioned Jensen's out there. I think he's been on your on your, uh, on your your channel more than once sure. um, sure. in recent weeks and sounding very enthusiastic. It, it's it's the one bright spot in, in, in the whole semiconductor arena right now. It, it's, it's the one thing where we can definitively point and say demand is probably going to exceed expectations, even expectations that I think are, are, are going up now. Some of the other areas and semis, um, I, I wish you could say that. You can't really say that right no, now. No, for sure. Well, speaking of the other areas of semis, I mean, we also have these reports that, you know, maybe Qualcomm, if it is considering some kind of a bid for Intel, might be waiting until after the election to, to sort out uh, that decision. I, I don't think you're a fan of the idea of the combination, but where does that stand? Yeah, I, to be fair, I, I hope they wait a little longer. Uh, even I, I'm, I'm not a fan. To, to be honest, like if, they, if they were just if they were just taking the, some of the product pieces of Intel, I could construct a thesis, and you can maybe make that work. I just can't make the finances work if, if the fabs come along with them. I, I just I just can't. Um, you know, it's dilutive if you use stock, and if you start using cash, it doesn't take a lot for the leverage. Uh, to reach, in my opinion, what would be unsustainable level. So I really would not like to see Qualcomm buy Intel and take the fabs. And, and, and to be honest, I don't think Intel is desperate enough yet to agree to a fire sale. And I don't think that they're splitting the company at this point is really on the road. But the fabs just can't stand on their own. Like they're losing, would they lose close to $3 billion last quarter? So $12 billion annualized. Mm -hmm. They just can't stand there on, on their own without a significant amount of like probably external capitalization. And it's going to be years before you, you build a business that, that enables them to stand on their own, if assuming you can do that at all.